Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Edge that generation here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you have a problem, guys, uh, where actually a uh, trunk tailgate does not open, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that, how we can guys fix it, uh, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say the fuse on that for edge for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that. All you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So guys, if the trunk, the tailgate does not open, guys, okay, uh, does not uh, open on your forage, what can cause that multiple things, but there are three fuses that you need to check because it could be super simple fix. If one of them is bad, okay, it may not work as well. Uh, so, if you own a forage that generation, many people do not know, but there are many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know they exist. We we'll recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on forage. Now, what we guys need to do first, we need to open the driver door and here on the driver's side under the dash in the full wheel compartment, that's a parking brake paddle, that's a hood open lever. Behind it on the left side, we have a cover. Remove it and you'll get to a, f a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys. When all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so guys here uh, we need to check two fuses then we need to go to a different fuse box and check one more specifically we're talking about fuse number uh, nine is the first one fuse number nine guys okay let me open a little bit better view so you can see it clearly it's that fuse right here from top to bottom the ninth one right here then you need to check fuse number 25 so that's 20 two, three, four, five. Now, uh, let me show you, okay, here you will be able to see because on the other one that we took, we took it apart, 22, three, four, five, that one here. Then you need to open the hood and under the hood, here guys, on the driver's side, you have a fuse box next to the car battery. Press these two tabs, open the cover, that's the fuse box. Here you need to check another fuse and we're talking about fuse number seven. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. That third amp fuse right here, that's the one that you need to check. Other things that can cause the tailgate not to open could be a bad trunk lock actuator. If you want to see how to replace or how to test trunk lock actuator, we have videos on the channel, but that's a mechanism that opens and closes it. If it's the automatic one, it could be the, uh, the lift system for the tailgate that's going out. But if it doesn't unlock or lock, most likely it's a bad fuse or bad trunk lock actuator that you guys need to check. So guys, this generation Ford Edge has all kind of different fuses and relays. Fuses and relays that could be really hard to find, especially if you live in a small town, if you're in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one, and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came. So we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for peace of mind, so that thing doesn't happen with you. We'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. 
hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know thank you guys for watching and see you next time